Welcome to Scalar. In today's episode, I will cover user-defined arguments. This is one of the elements that distinguishes Scalar from many other solutions. User arguments allow you to build dependencies and manipulate formulas much more efficiently. You will also learn the first application of the button equals. Let's get started. We enter the command x equals 2. After clicking run, the scalar informs that it has just registered the argument definition. The x argument we just defined can be referenced by typing x and clicking run. As a result, we get the number 2. You can also use the argument in a more complex expression, for example by typing 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. As expected, the result is 17. Going further, the argument can also be used in the definition of a new argument. To do this, let's restore the last entered expression by clicking the up arrow, and then moving the text cursor to the beginning of the expression by long clicking the left arrow. At the beginning of the expression, we add y equals, and then click run. The scalar immediately tells you that the new argument has been registered. Next, let's present the value of y by entering y and clicking run. As a result, we get the expected 17. Now let's change the value of the argument x by entering x equals 3 and clicking run. We then re-verify the value of the argument y, which depends on the argument x. We type y and click run. This time the result is 34, cool. It means Scalar allows you to define many arguments, including the possibility of associating these definitions with several dependencies. Finally, let's look at the list of all user-defined items. We make example button long click. A contextual search with help appears. At the top, we deselect everything except user elements, and voila, here are our arguments and constants. Clicking on any item from the list will make the selected symbol appear in the input area. Cool again. I am sure that the discussed functionalities will significantly help in your daily work. See you in the next episode. Thank you.